Bonafide Hustler here. Bonafide Hustler here. Bonafide Hustler here. This could be a terrible day for garage sales, but I'm still out. What's going on guys? Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of the giant spaceship! Cruising to the galaxy at Mach B speeds. Now we're in a very wet morning. It rained last night, but I don't expect there to be many opportunities today. But we'll check it out. I'm still out there. I'm still going to make it happen. And I've been doing pretty well at this all week. If you guys are checking out my channel for the very first time, this is what I do to make money. I go to garage sales, estate sales, yard sales, flea markets, swap meets, pawn shops, anything I can get my hands on to make some money. I do really well, put it on avenues such as eBay, Craigslist, Amazon, uh, antique booth, uh, etc., consignment stores, that kind of stuff. If you watch my channel, I'll basically show you how to do it. Also have a book out. You saw that in the very first part of the video with the song. Don't forget to check that out. Links are all down below for all that stuff. So as you can see, it's kind of a dreary day. I think we're expecting some sunshine, maybe some 62s here in Austin, Texas. It's been like 40s, 30s all week long. And I know out there, you're probably thinking, wow, you guys have no idea how good you have it. It's still pretty cold for us Austinites that are, you know, we spend our summers or majority of our year in like 80 degree weather or 100 degree weather. So, uh, you know, when it gets to 40, that's a freaking big deal. It's freaking cold. It's like, really cold. Now, if you're wondering what is this thing that I'm wearing, well, I found it a while back at a uh, outdoors e garage sale and uh, picked up five, no, maybe four Patagonia garments and something else for like 120 bucks. So this was one of the things. It's like a not even a soft shell. It has no real protective properties except maybe to keep me a little bit warm. But I like it. It's kind of like wearing a smaller version of Hugh Hefner's robe. that yeah I'll take it okay I've arrived at my first well it's like not a garage sale because like I said it's been raining you can see the water on my windows this one is inside the house so uh, I want to go in there and see what if I can find anything cool okay I popped on these two books for a dollar um, didn't even bother talking the lady down George O'Keefe book perfect for my antique booth nothing crazy a Rolling Stones book life on the road Definitely perfect for my uh, antique booth. While both not really antiques, the booth actually gives me the clientele that I would actually buy these two things. So I'm thinking maybe, um, I don't know, five to ten bucks on this and probably five to six bucks on this right here. Here we go, second garage sale of the morning. Looks like people are out there shopping, guys. So let's see if I can find something in this place. All right, some more scores. Just popped on this Beatles book right here. Days of their life, a dollar. Great find. And for two bucks, going straight to my booth after this, are these two hawk skis right here. So there you go. Two awesome hawk skis for two bucks. I think they're reselling this in my booth. Probably around 20 to 40 all day long for those. And this, I'm going to ask about, I don't know, eight, maybe six bucks, something like that. All right, about to be at the next garage sale going into a different neighborhood now in Austin, Texas. Still wet on the ground, but nevertheless, pretty cool, nice day. I think, uh, I'm hoping to see the sunshine. Let's see if I can find anything of that one right there. That little beep, 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 that one right there. So I popped on this Lego head guy for a dollar. Um, this is the one that if you open it up, it has the sorting mechanism inside. So like the bigger pieces stay at the top and the tinier pieces kind of, you know, sort through the middle. Or the bottom range that's pretty cool um, I know these things in uh, certain conditions can bring about 10 to 20 so I haven't seen this one before we'll see what I can do with it you better join the green room sweet another garage sale under a really nice tree could or could not be good maybe it'll be amazing because of that tree dude look at this thing canopy canopy well, it looks like the tree blessed me with a Martin. Sign, not a guitar. Damn. All right. Well, here's a little Martin. 
not a sign. It's like, I don't know, something that you put next to a mailbox or outside of your house and it bolts to the side right there. So I'm going to put this in my booth for about, looks like there's a little, bit, a little mud dauber, maybe a wasp hive around here. I'll put it in my booth for about 15, 20 bucks. This kind of stuff will sell so fast. So, you know, chances of a Martin seeing my booth, probably middle, not high nor low. There you go. I also popped on this heat gun right here. It's going to be for my remote control projects and everything. And that'll be coming up this year as well. I've been, you know, I've been into remote control. I just kind of got out of it for a while, but we'll see. That was two bucks. And the Martin sign, by the way, guys, $1.00. That's a really great find right there. Right, Martin? Right. So, just got done at Taco Deli. I know, I didn't film it, but that's okay. I did come out with a coffee. Not a dopio. I just kind of felt like coffee, you know? But this is an interesting coffee. You know why? Check this. Ah! Oh, that's intense. I can't believe it! Whoa! Dang, that was good! You see? Now that's what I'm talking about. That's good coffee. That's like Doctor Who TARDIS, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, telephone booth stuff right there. TARDIS alert! TARDIS alert? Uh, only a serious Doctor Who fan would probably get that one. More stops on the route, a Goodwill. The largest Goodwill in Austin, Texas. Gonna go in. Okay, so I popped on three pieces of footwear at that Goodwill. The first one, Chaco Sandals, don't forget this brand with the toe loop, as you can see right here. Has the toe loop, it's an M10, which means men's 10, very good condition, $7.99. Pretty sure I can eke out about 40, 50 bucks on these all day. Second footwear find, these are 510 purple suede climbing shoes, rock climbing shoes. Great condition, I think. Um, you can see, obviously, that it's been used, but $8.99, and I'm pretty sure I can get 50 for these. The ends look really good, so I'd say, yeah, Purple Suede 510 Stealth C4 models, all day 50 bucks. That's what I'm going to aim for. And the numero uno find, guys, is this right here, Wonder Woman High Top Converse. Now, this, super, super amazing. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that these are going to have decent resale. So these are popped for $10.99. They're size 5. So I'm on my way to one last garage sale. Gra you know, the day is just uh, getting kind of cloudy. But hey, it's uh, 1039 and we're going to see if we can find a little bit more stuff. I know there's some clothing, maybe some vintage clothing at this garage sale. Not expecting much at 10.39, but you never know. Oh, by the way, this one actually opened at 10 o'clock, so that's a good sign. I think I'm gonna have to at least check it out, and then I'll go home or pass by the antique booth before I go home, blah, blah, blah. Because I really don't want to bring a lot of this stuff home with me. This just goes straight to the booth. I have all my stickers here, my tags and my book and everything to where, you know, I brought the accounting part with me and all the stuff that I need to where I don't have to go home. I don't have to make an extra step and uh, put a hurdle between me and the cash that I want to make. Last garage sale of the day is sitting back in that yard. Tons of clothing, it looks like. I'm gonna go check it out. So the last scores of the day are 1992 Phoenix Suns vintage retro, I guess. Shirt, uh, two bucks. Probably gonna ask about 10 on that in the booth. There you go and a uh, old Protec Cafe Racer helmet. Really cool. Of course, no visor, but still nevertheless, probably wanted somewhere in town. Might need a little rip holstering, but it has that neat red glitter look to it. 
And for five bucks, I'm pretty sure I can get about 20 to 30 for this thing in the booth all day. And now it's time to head to the booth. All right, so I'm sitting here at the antique mall, about to open the door of the truck, get it all done. There's the back door of the mall. Uh, I gotta get these skis and that helmet right there put in, and this little Martin sign. So I already marked off everything. Here we go, Cafe Racer helmet. After looking up some stuff, I think side I'm gonna go with 28 bucks on that one. There's a sticker. Uh, our Martin piece, we're gonna do 24 on that one. The Hawk skis, actually 50. The Phoenix Sun shirt, like 11 bucks. So I'm gonna go put this in the booth right now. Okay, I'm at my booth, ready to put the stuff up. Take a look. So that's pretty much my day. I'm really glad I went out, found some cool stuff, definitely dropped off a lot of it already. So my money can start working for me right now. So hopefully you guys got a tidbit of cool information out there to motivate you guys to do some hustling. Maybe you're brand new to this whole thing and you found this video and you're like, wow, I wonder what this is all about. It's an amazing journey. Hustling can bring you some of the coolest things and coolest experiences you'll ever find in your entire life. And every day is a treasure hunt. So thanks for watching my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the links below to all my other offerings such as the book, the green room, 100 amazing items to resell. So many things down there in the links that will help you on your hustler journey and help you make a lot of money. With that, thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon. just going from a car to this to that doing some snow activities and you're coming inside it's that kind of glove so it's a good glove typically you'll see Patagonia gloves have like a nylon on the top and maybe like a leather